Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra. Are you interested in downloading custom content for The Sims 4 but you don't really know where to start? Because if that's you, this video is gonna be perfect for you. I have put together a collection of custom content that is really easy to download it's quite simple and something that will match your game perfectly. So if you're just starting out with custom content, I feel like this will be a good mix of items to start with. This is just based off of my opinion. I put a bunch of stuff in here that I downloaded in the beginning of my CC journey. <laughs> Everything is going to be Max's match and everything is going to be linked below in the description box. I can't give you guys just one download link, unfortunately, because you do have to download from the original creators. I'm not allowed to re-upload their content or merge it into a big file or anything, but whatever you see in this video that you like, just go in the description box and click the link and find the download button and put it in your game. I do have a video on how to download and install custom content, so I'm gonna link that in the top right corner right now and also in the description box. I go over every single way you can download custom content, all the different websites, so if you're new to that as well, check out that video first and then come back to this one where I will show you actual items that you can put in your game. I'll also try to like explain things a little bit more than usual and I also try to pick items that like I said are really easy to download so I didn't really include any big collections or posts that have like eight different items where I'm only showcasing one so most of these links will take you to just that one item. There are a lot of items from the Sims resource in this video so I did go over that in the how to download CC video as well so make sure you do check that out if you're unsure how to get it actually in your game. But yeah give the video a thumbs up if you like CC if you think this video will be helpful for you and let's get started. So I decided to start us off with skin details. Using a custom skin blend is quite common when you use custom content. It changes just like your Sims skin and there's so many different ones. I really wanted to link you guys a couple that I find are really Max's match and look really, really good. I don't have a default skin overlay, so if I take off the two that she has on right now, this is what the basic Sims look like. As you can see, like I think she looks better, like her skin is smoother, just I like it better like this. So the first one is one I've been using for like five years. This is called the Ooh Smooth version 2. I'm gonna link you guys directly to the download page, but you can download it for both feminine and masculine sims. And this one is a full body um, overlay. Some overlays are only for the face. This one is a full body one. Can't really see because she's wearing a lot of clothes, but it does change her whole body. So this one's my favorite. It's really subtle. It doesn't do anything that crazy. And you can layer this with other ones. So the next one that I really like is the Jaded Skin Blend. This one has a couple different versions, as you can see. Another really, really Maxis Match one. This one has a little bit of like eye bags or whatever, but not all the swatches have that. Like, that's super cute. You can layer it or without layering, it looks like this. And this is only for the face. So that is one of my favorites. And then another one, which is a new one, is this So Creamy overlay. This one, as you can see, it's a little bit stronger. It's quite different than the basic skin <laughs> from EA, but this one also has a couple different versions, but I just really like this layered with this one. I think it looks really, really good. You can use it on its own, but I really like the combination. And when it comes to downloading skins, <laughs> Some of these do have the option to download them as default skins. That means that all of your Sims will have this skin on. It's not something you put on. It's also not something that you can take off. It will be applied to every single Sim. So I don't have one. I like to be able to pick which one I use and change them around. So just make sure that you don't download one that says default if that's not something that you want. You'll want to download the one that says non-default. All right, there's a lot more stuff here in skin details. If you get into CC, I'm sure you'll download a lot more of this. I have a bunch of videos on the topic. I have a skin details collection on my channel. So if you do want more and more detailed sims, definitely check out my other videos. But in this one, that's all that we're gonna be looking at in skin details that is in here. Next thing I wanted to show you guys is some eyebrows. So I do have 
eyebrow packs from this creator called Stretch Skeleton. And I really, really love their eyebrows. They're super maxis match. I have quite a lot. So there's a big collection. You can either download like a merged file, which gives you all of them, or you can just look at the preview and pick which ones you want to download and then just download those specific files if you don't want all of them in your game. But I definitely recommend these. I think they're really good and they definitely match the game aesthetics already. Then we're going to talk about lashes. I am just going to link you guys the basic lashes that I first downloaded. So these are the Kichiko lashes. I do have other lashes now that I use that I have mentioned in a bunch of other videos, but if you're just starting out and you go from no lashes to huge lashes, I feel like that's a bit too much. So we're just gonna download the basic lashes from Kichigo. So these are actually in the glasses category. So you can't layer them with any other glasses, unfortunately. I also recommend picking eyes that don't have the thick EA lashes. So something like this, otherwise you don't really get the full effect. But these ones just have a bunch of different versions so you can swap them around. We also have ones that are only on the lower lashes. Then we have brown versions and then black and brown. For this one, you're gonna wanna find the download link on the page. And it's gonna download as a zip file, so you do have to unzip it. I did show that in the video on how to download CC, but then you can download that version two, which is this. And then there's version two expansion lashes. I'm pretty sure that's this and this one. The lashes are just a little bit longer. So if you wanna also download this one, you can go ahead, it's gonna be in the same file and then just go ahead and drop those in your mods folder all right then i want to show you guys the one pair of eyes because i really don't like the ea default eyes they're kind of creepy nobody that i know really uses them so i'm gonna link you guys the first eyes that i ever downloaded which are the meteor eyes so they look like this they're so pretty they have like all the same colors as the basic EA eyes, but they just, to me, look a lot better. They are Max's match. It might be quite a big difference if you're not used to <laughs> using custom eyes, but I really love them. And for these, you can download them as non-defaults. So they'll be up here once you click on your Sims eyes, you would have the regular EA colors and then below it, you would have these colors that have the little wrench icon. So that is what non-defaults mean. Or you can download them as face paint, which is how I usually use um, contacts. So they're gonna be in the face paint category and you can just put them on from there. Okay, yay. That is already gonna make a huge difference to your Sims if this is your first time downloading custom content. I'm really excited for you guys. So I wanted to also show you some hairs and some clothes. So we are gonna start off with hairs. Again, I try to pick posts where it's only like the one item. So I do show a lot of the same creators because of that reason. I also just wanted to pick hairs that were quite simple and something that, like I said, will just match your game perfectly. So the first hair that we have is this Brie hair super cute but we don't have anything like this from any of the packs and even if we did all of these custom content items are base game compatible so you only need to have the base game for these to show up in your game so this is the free hair super cute love it so much then next up we have this one this is called the meta hair this one's quite simple again like i said but super pretty honestly love this one we need more hairs like this <laughs> in the actual game then we have the beverly hair with the space buns this one is adorable a lot of these hairs might have a couple versions by the way when you go and download them i think this one has a version with these bangs and then a version with straight bangs so obviously when you go and click the actual files to download them you can download version one and version two or you can just pick whichever one you prefer like i only have this one because i like these bangs a lot but if you just read the post you do get the information that you need so if that's confusing to you i thought i would just explain that but yeah this beverly hair is absolutely adorable the next up we have this kima hair this one is a little bit more <laughs> modern this is not something the sims really does where it has these like loose strands of hair but this one is quite toned down still i think it would match your game really well i love this in a darker color as well 
I just, I think this hair is stunning. Definitely recommend it. Then we have this Sylvie hair. So this one's so cute, super Max's match. It's a little bun. I think again, this one has two versions. The other one is like a ponytail or something, but I love this bun. It's my favorite. I love um, the bangs and how it's so behind her ear. So this is so cute. Then we have the Lucy hair. So this is my favorite ponytail that I have. It looks like this. It has like side bangs. It's just a really nice, good quality ponytail if you're looking for something like this. Then we have the Marla hair, which is one of my all-time favorite hairs. It's just so cute. It's simple, but stunning. Works on literally every single sim. And then we have the Alia hair, if I'm saying that right. It looks like this, if you can see the texture in a lighter color. And then if we look at a darker color, you can see the details. I think this is really nice, half up, half down. And we have like dreads, so I think this is stunning. We also have the Asia hair, which is one of my favorites as well. I love this, like the Sims needs to make hairs like this because this looks really freaking good. So here it is in a darker color. And then we have the blonde as well. And then the last hair I wanted to show you guys is this Trinity hair. So cute, I'll show it in a darker color. I love the space buns, I love the texture. Then we have these like little braids on the side. This is so cute. Also, I get this question a lot. I don't know if anyone who wants to know is actually watching this video, but I get a question, how do you add five different outfits for like every day? You literally just, this is how the game is. This is not a mod. All you have to do is press that arrow and then there will be like a plus sign here if you only have one outfit and you just press plus and plus and plus and plus and you can make up to five outfits. Okay, let's move on to makeup. I think makeup is really important and The Sims does not have good makeup. So definitely recommend downloading some CC ones. I, I'm not gonna link you guys any eyeshadows because I don't have any like simple must haves. I think the game has like decent ones, but I'll link you guys to my favorite eyeliner, which is this one. It's called natural wing liner it has different colors it also has a version where there's like a white inner corner so i love that one and then obviously i have to link you guys my favorite blushes so this is the lillian blush this is what it does i love the placement of this blush and there's a bunch of different colors obviously the opacity slider works with these as well another good blush is the cloud blush which is this one so this one has like a lower placement if you can see that this is a really nice another one with so many different colors definitely recommend the sims has terrible blushes and then looking at lipsticks i wanted to give you guys like a matte lipstick and a lip gloss and just a couple different versions i have so many lipsticks that i love but i just picked a few for this video so the first one is this florence lipstick that i am obsessed with look how cute this is it's so max's match i think the post that you get this from also has like a blush and an eyeshadow so if you want to download those go ahead but i definitely recommend the lipstick like that is just adorable then my favorite matte lipstick is this MAC one. So this is a MAC lipstick. This one has two versions. One of them is get together required. So if you want this lipstick, you do need to own get together. But then there is another version that is base game compatible where you don't need to have this expansion pack. Apparently it doesn't look just as good as this one. I haven't tested it, but I just needed to link you guys this. So make sure you check which one you download depending on which packs you have. But this is my favorite matte lipstick. And then for a lip gloss, I thought this one would be cute. So this one is um, a really subtle one and a really Max's match one. This one, again, I'm gonna link you guys two different things. The first one is the base and it comes with I think like half of these colors. I want to say like the more red colors. But then the same creator made an expansion that if you also download the second file, it will add more colors to the same item. So then we have all of these colors. And I think this is super cute. It won't stand out too much and it will definitely match your game perfectly. Okay, then we have to do some accessories because I feel like that's another 
thing that the sims just doesn't give you enough of and a lot of the accessories from packs are like way too big way too over the top so i'm gonna show you guys some options so i'm gonna show earrings first we have these rascal earrings that are my favorites so they look like pretty simple but stunning they come in different metallics then we have these zealous earrings that i got recently but i think they're quite simple they have cute little pearls i think they would match with a lot of different things and then we have these serenity earrings that i've had forever so this is a pack that has like multiple different piercings so on this ear we have three and on this ear we have two i really like when you can do that because you can't really do that without custom content i like having multiple piercings in my sims ears and this one comes in so many different colors so obsessed with that so then necklaces i need to give you guys a couple first up is this maria necklace really simple really stunning like super maxis match we need something like this in a pack i'm obsessed with this this is another one that comes in a post that does have other items not that many but check them out if you're interested if not just download the necklace and the bracelet that i will show you guys in a second because we do have a matching maria bracelet which is this one look how stunning really simple same metallic swatches downloaded from the same post so definitely check those out but i do have two other necklaces the next one is this casey necklace super cute little pearls and then a little flower in the middle couple of different metallic swatches i love that i think it's quite a maxis match as well and then if you want a good black choker this renee choker has been my favorite obviously it does come in a lot of other colors as well but this is just like my go-to black choker i don't know if they're really in style anymore but they wear for a long time and i use this one so much and then we have to talk about rings because yeah the sims does not do good rings especially sets so I'm gonna just click on the fingernails so we can see. This is the first set. So the rings, like the one item has all these different rings together, which I love. These are the Luciani rings. They come in different metallics. You can download them for the right hand or the left hand, I believe. You can just pick one or do both, whatever you want. And then we also have these ones, which are the Monet rings. Again, you get all four of these rings from just one click. So I think those are really, really pretty. And then yeah, nails. If you don't have a spa day, which came with a lot of nails, um, a couple kits came with nails as well. And then we have these nails from Wedding Stories. I recommend you download these True Almond nails. They're longer nails. I don't think Base Game has these. They look really good. And look at this massive color palette. So they come in literally every color. And they're only just this one item. So definitely check those out if you're interested in downloading some nails then i did want to give you guys a bracelet and a watch because again i just don't really like the ones we get from packs and base games so this is the bulbier bracelet i don't know how to say that but it's quite simple i think it matches the game it's a tiny bit alpha but honestly it's so small you can't tell it's subtle it comes in different metallics and again you can download it for both hands i think you should do that and then we also have this s club watch which i have had for years i love it it's so simple it comes in gold silver and rose gold and i just think it goes really well with everything i feel like there's a lot of items in this video and it was meant to be like a small starter pack i think that's just because i wanted to show something in like every category but definitely don't feel like you need to download everything just pick and choose what you want to start off with so we're gonna move on to clothing first up we have this blue rose sweater look how cute i love the texture of it i love that it's like off one shoulder it has a big color palette as well and it's absolutely stunning then we have this primrose top look how cute i love the flowy sleeves and that it's like a wrap top with a bow this one has a lot of colors and some patterns which i think are really really pretty i think you can download this as a dress as well from the same post so check that out then we have the riley cropped cardigan this is so cute this could definitely have come from a pack i love this the leaves again this one has a really really nice color palette with lots of pretty colors 
Then we have this illusion oversized t-shirt. Love this. We need something like this in the game. This one comes in a lot of like really cool patterns or like colors. And then we do have some like logos going on as well, but they're in Simlish. Then we have like base colors and like gradient colors. And it's quite long, so you can wear this without pants in my opinion, or you could put on like biker shorts or whatever. I really, really like this and I've used this a lot. Then moving on, we have the Destiny top. So now we have like a little cropped top. I love the little bows on <laughs> the straps, but it's another really simple one. We have some cute colors, a couple of like stripe patterns and these two as well. I just think that's adorable. Then if you want a sleeveless top with a bit of a polo neck, <laughs> this is the Bad News top. Love the texture on this. This one comes in a lot of colors and then a lot of really nice patterns that I actually love. I think these patterns are really cool. This came out recently and I'm already obsessed with it. And then if you want a bodysuit, we have this Marina bodysuit. Looks like this, paired with a little jean shorts. We have a massive color palette like EA could never. <laughs> and then we also have some really, really cute patterns down here that I think are still really max match and go well with the game. Then we have, oh yeah, we have this hoodie. So this is called the Savage cropped hoodie. Look how well it goes with these joggers. So this is really nice. I use this a lot for um, athletic wear, for example. Um, it has a lot of really, really nice patterns and then some like solid swatches as well. Honestly, kind of obsessed with it. And then lastly in tops, we have this energy set. So I'm just going to show you everything at once because this set has three different items you can download. You can download this matching top and biker shorts, which is really cute. And you can also download this hoodie, which is also matching. So you can either have a hoodie or you can have this cute cropped shirt. This is again, great workout wear or whatever. These biker shorts are some of my favorites. So I'll show you, they come in a couple of different patterns. I do like all of them. And then we have these basic swatches too. I just love this gray textured one. So this is the energy set. You can download the whole thing from the same post. I just really wanted to give you guys some clothes for athletic wear too. But then moving on to bottoms, I have a couple pairs of jeans. These are my favorites. These are the Love Me Right jeans. They're so much to match. They're high-waisted. We honestly need more high-waisted jeans in the actual game. They have some patterns, really cute ones like the hearts and then a bunch of denim swatches. These are my absolute favorites. We also have the jelly bean jeans that look like this. They are a little bit ripped as well on the knees and up here. I like the bottoms as well. These ones come in so many colors and we do have some patterns like stripes and stuff. I think they're really cool, but up here we just have like basic denim swatches if that's what you want. They're like my second favorite pair of jeans. Then we have, oh my God, we have the Attaboy skirt. This is so cute, super high-waisted. I love the hem, like the ruffles, adorable. Bunch of solid swatches and then a bunch of these plaid swatches as well which I do really like. And then a couple of stripey ones. I mainly just use the solid swatches for this. It's so cute. Then this is the love scene skirt. This is like a corduroy texture, high-waisted again with buttons in the front. This one has like an earthy toned color palette. I love this skirt. Then moving on, we have the pleated skirt. So this is the high, high pleated skirt. <laughs> this one's another high-waisted skirt, you guys can tell. I love high-waisted clothing. This one has a couple patterns as well, as you can see, and then the basic swatches. Just a really nice quality skirt. And then we have a pair of shorts. I didn't need to include one. So we have these summertime shorts. These are really old, but they're still my favorites. They're high-waisted. I think they're an edit of shorts that came from like bowling night or something. But look how many colors again. We have like ombre gradient swatches. And then like more, even more swatches down here. 
These are just so nice. I've used them a million times. And then lastly, in bottoms, we have the sweatpants that go perfectly with this top. So these are the booster sweatpants. We have a lot of colors. Some of them have stripes or writing down the side. Oh my God, that looks really good too. And then we also have like just solid swatches. I like that they're high-waisted. These are like my favorite sweatpants. Please get them. Then moving on to full body outfits. I think these are mainly dresses that I'm going to show you guys. I, again, I tried to pick some like quite simple ones that I've used for a while and that I love. So the first one is this Cassie dress. Look how stunning. And it has a really big color palette and it just looks so max as much. So high quality. I'm honestly obsessed with it. Then we have the Erica dress, which is this one. Look how cute. A little bit more unique with the shirt underneath. So this one has some of these like plain soldiers and then some of them have really, really nice patterns that I think are still quite Max's match. They really fit the game. I don't think they stand out too much. And this is such a fun little outfit like it's one of my favorites honestly obsessed with it then we have this like two-piece outfit but it's in full body this is called the hardy dress look at this it's so beautiful so well made but definitely still matches the game we have a bunch of colors i think this is so pretty honestly obsessed we do have some heart swatches in here so the original swatches this really stunning pink and red heart swatch like amazing but it does have, as you saw, plain swatches too. Then we have two dresses from the same post. So we have the happy and the merry dress. This is the happy one and this is the merry one. I like both of them, super maxi match, super pretty. They have like a slight pattern to them. I think there's a couple, yeah, different ones. Look at the purple. This is super pretty, perfect for summer. And yeah, this is the second one. It comes in the exact same swatches so beautiful definitely recommend then we have this camellia dress which is like a midi length summer dress love the back with the little bow and we have a little slit on both sides as well this one comes in so many colors too and it's so max as much and then there are a couple more crazy <laughs> um patterns which just down here i really like the pink one but if you want to just stick to the solids definitely do that then this is my favorite outfit i honestly love this this is the carly outfit so we have like a pleated skirt a polo neck a shirt and then this jumper over it but it's so max as much it always gives me schoolgirl outfit vibes and look at these different fun colors like i love this outfit definitely get it we have a couple more dresses we have this love spell dress look at all the different colors i love the textures of both the dress and then the top underneath we do have some patterns but i really just love these like basic swatches i think they're so pretty and then the last dress is the swan dress that looks like this I love it. It's like gradient from blue to purple to pink with stars and I love the sleeves. I think there's even a shorter version that you can download. I don't remember but it's all in the post. It does come in a lot of swatches. They're not all night sky themed. There's a lot in here and you can even use this as a wedding dress if you want. I just think it's stunning. Okay very last thing in this video is shoes. I'm gonna link you guys five pairs actually the last one is a collection well anyways first pair are these acne clover boots that i've had for so many years they're just my go-to like fall time boots that don't really have big heels i love the colors i think they're really nice then we have the incheon sneakers that one of the cc creators made a little bit more chunky and they look really good so if you don't have the Incheon Arrivals, is that what it's called? Kit. You can just download these, they're base game compatible. They come in all the same swatches and I like how chunky they are. Then we have like the black and the white. They're super nice, they're like my favorite trainers. Then we have over the knee boots. These are the Rimini boots. Rimini, I don't know how to say that. Look at them. Honestly, why don't we have over the knee boots like this? These are really nice and they're quite maxi match, especially in the darker colors. We have a million colors, as you can see. But then we did have like some lighter colors in here as well. 
I just love these. I've used them for so long. So if you need some over the knee boots, definitely get these. <laughs> then we have the platform slippers that look like this. Just some simple, nice wedges. And they come in a really, really big color palette. And then lastly, I wanted to give you guys some flats. So I actually have this flats collection. I think it comes with three different pairs of shoes, all from the same post. You can download them all together. This is the first pair. Look how maxis match and amazing this looks. Again, we have like a million colors in here, which is amazing. Then this is also from the flats collection. I love these. So stunning. And again, a million colors, like hello. And then the last one from the flats collection is these ones. These ones remind me more of like the beach or something. <laughs> they're not really flip-flops, but they're not far. But again, we have like the same really, really big color palette. And I think they look maxis match and they would go great in your game. All right, there we go. I feel like that was a long video, but I really wanted to explain how to download these items if you are new to custom content. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want more CC, I have a whole playlist of CC finds and CC showcases. My channel is pretty much based around custom content now, so definitely check out my other videos. I have a bunch of them linked at the bottom of the description. So if you are interested, go check those out. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you, if you enjoyed it, if you found some new, really nice, simple CC for your game. Comment down below if you wanna see other videos similar to this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.